the hydrogen economy, the new hydrogen economy, has an entire ecosystem, a value chain that needs to be connected. COP, an event like this, is a great place where all the stakeholders come together, they talk and collaborate, they learn from each other, they learn from challenges of each other and how they can work together. If you break down the hydrogen economy, the hydrogen value chain, you can look at it in three areas, right? First or three challenges. The first challenge is how do we produce hydrogen at the most cost effective way? Because we need to bring the cost down for it to be a viable player. The second is how do you, once you produce it, how do you transport it to places? You know, there's different pathways. People look at ammonia, people look at all different areas. How do you bring all of those things? And the third area is how do you connect the demand and supply together so that people, there's a, there's a bankable demand out there. There are technologies that, you have, there's lots of people working on how to bring digital, how to, how to produce hydrogen at a cost effective rate. But what we need to do is look at connecting all these dots. As new technologies come in, challenges, there is a lot of work going on. The challenge is how do we scale these new technologies all the way across at an industrial scale and find out where the bottlenecks are very quickly. So digital technologies, such as a digital twin, is gonna be critical in really stitching all these across, across their entire life cycle. You need to be able to understand where the problems are, where anticipate these problems, and solve those problems. And if there is a new technology which is not viable, find that very, very soon as possible before you make an expensive mistake. So I would say the biggest one is a digital tech, a twin, a, a digital fabric that goes throughout the plant's life cycle, that connects all the information together, that allows this collaboration to take place. See, the biggest thing you need to do is connect the value chain. We call this as the connected industrial economy, right? There needs to be a lot of collaboration that needs to happen. People need to understand it's not just the hydrogen production portion, we need to also look at the grid. The grid needs to have the renewable capacity for green hydrogen to come in play, all of those things. So, so you really, there's a huge ecosystem of partners, everything from, from banks who are going to finance it or financial institutions to APC companies who are going to create this, to operators who are going to operate it, and then companies who are beyond the consume, consumption side, as well as the grid that comes in, which is all of those things. So digital is sort of a place where everybody comes together. This is how everything comes in. And then underlying all of this is the human element. You need to consider the people as well who are gonna be impacted, who will be involved and support all of those things. So I'd say considering all of this ecosystem together, connecting it together through a connected industrial economy is critical in making this happen.